<laughs> That's great. Oh, is there going to be a test? What is... Uh, is it an infomercial? Where's Cher? <laughs> Body care and grooming. They're cops. <laughs> oh, you know, they should distribute this film in Seattle where the Grinch look is so popular. Oh, yeah. oh they need it. And based on the book, everything I ever needed to know, I learned at the beauty parlor. It was the cleanest of times, it was the dirtiest of times. Ah, spring. Filthy, shameful spring. When birds are on the wing. When flowers bloom. And so do young men. Ooh. This guy isn't a prayer. <laughs> a young Frank Sutton makes his move. You know, people were whiter back then. Mm -hmm. When a young man's fancy lightly turns to... Underpants. <laughs> oh. What's the matter? Mm -hmm. Exam week getting you down? Oh, leave me alone. What you need is to put down that notebook and take in some of the beauties of nature. Pick up a rifle. See what I mean? The Andrews sisters? No way. Mm. But wait a minute, young lady. How did you get into this picture? My agent booked me. You see, we're trying to prove a point about nature and beauty, and you're not exactly helping, you know. Yeah, well, bite Look me. at your hair. I like your hair. Look at that blouse. I'm looking, I'm looking. And the way that skirt hangs. <laughs> and those socks. Look at that sidewalk. Sorry, there must have been a mistake. You don't seem to be exactly the type to make this guy behave like a human being. You know, to make him grope you and paw at you. I'm late for my Hitler Youth meeting. But wait a minute. Let's start all over again. And find new ways to shame her. Oh, brother. The hell? Oh, brother is right. Look at that hair. That skin. That mouth. Those nose. And now look at that blouse. We just took your libido and starched and, and pressed now it. now look at the skirt. And the socks. Mm. Thanks a lot for helping us prove a point. Now be gone. And you. You too know the value of a good appearance. Uh, excuse me, I couldn't help but notice how much you look like everyone else. <laughs> Tackling her from behind is the first step. Ten years later. This marriage is suffocating me! In fact, you all know that a good appearance is a must. Not only to your college life now, but to your business and professional lives. Mm. But good appearance is more than dressing up like a fashion plate. It's looking like Bruno Hopman. Anyone will make a good appearance if, no matter what his style of clothing. Even Larry Hope. Clothes are important. Mm -hmm. Besides fitting well and looking well, the clothes should be appropriate to the occasion. Hmm. Wearing inappropriate clothes, like these shoes... Is immoral. ...is a sure way to make yourself uncomfortable and conspicuous. Expressing individualism is just plain wrong. But good grooming is more than clothes deep. It's being snowy white. Good grooming starts with personal care. It starts with the soul. This principally means the care of your hands, your hair, your teeth, Mm -hmm. and your skin and your naughty bits yes let's begin with the skin by taking a look at it from the doctor's oh, point yeah. of view oh you got a big blackhead You'll right find here and the skin is a complex living tissue whose proper care requires a basic understanding of what it is and what it does but doctor i twisted my ankle in this highly magnified section through the skin hmm. we see that skin is made up of various layers you see the path of the motorcade Individual was diverted cells through of the outer layer are constantly drying out and dropping Whoopee! off. Whee! Here we go! 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 Here we to help you hold smooth objects. Out from the inkwell comes cocoa the Almost clown. all skin is richly provided with nerves, which give the skin an amazing sensitivity to outside stimuli. Hence, the skin acts as a sensory organ 
for the protection of the body as a whole. There, that'll keep the devil out. And skin serves to protect you still another way. By providing one of the first physical signs of illness or disease. That's an Indian rub, all right. You got a little sister. Most skin also contains hair. The hair roots are located below the skin surface. Wait a minute, the hair has a liver and a spleen? Hairs are found in association with the sebaceous or oil glands. Well, there's oil on them there, skins. <laughs> These oil glands often empty directly into the hair follicle or opening, by means of which the oil reaches the skin surface. The purpose of this oil is to soften and lubricate the hair and skin. Hey, you can't say lubricate. Another gland found in the skin is the sweat gland. Aye. Sweat glands open directly into the skin and discharge sweat through individual openings or pores. <laughs> sweating is one of the chief functions of the skin. The main value of sweating is the control of body heat Thank you. brought about by the evaporation of sweat from the skin surface. I am Moisty, the national spokesman for sweat. Most everyone sweats under one circumstance or another. <laughs> Besides accumulating sweat, the skin is also constantly picking up dirt, dust, grit, and other foreign particles. Skin sucks. And because the skin has lots of openings in its surface, these foreign particles, most of them loaded with bacteria, may enter the skin and start an infection. On Lyle Lovett. Such an infection, if untreated or irritated, could develop into a widespread inflammation or even blood poisoning. Don't let this happen to you. Don't change a tire with your face. Mm -hmm. Protect your skin. Keep it looking clear and fresh. Keep it clean. Pickle it, varnish it, soak it in vinegar. The best way to clean your skin is still the old-fashioned use of soap, hot water, and plenty of elbow grease. Mm -hmm's in the gutter, your love's in the And the sink. result is well worth the effort. You don't need scientific proof of it. You can feel it. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. Mm. In addition to soap and water, there are other good aids for cleaning your skin. One of these is cleansing cream. One of these is nitric acid, choose wisely. Many girls find this helpful in removing cosmetics. Many are just plain wrong. However, nothing can take the place of your daily bath or shower. Mm. You should never disrobe, even in the shower. Mm -mm. I'm so nutty, yeah, nutty yeah. I am. This is the time to give your skin a good, invigorating workout. <laughs> if there is no visible dirt to wash off, there are body odors to be eliminated by cleansing your skin of dried sweat, skin scales, and dust, which oh. accumulate constantly. Well, we just use that on the bowl, dear. Oh, oh, never mind. Your bath or shower should end with a brisk rinsing to carry away all soapy residue. This is really the best part of the shower. It stimulates the skin and wakes it up all over. Now get out. You've wasted enough water. Get out. Bathing and toilet articles should be kept for your own personal use. Grooming is between you and the Lord God. Don't share them with others. Don't trust people. They'll only hurt you. You wouldn't use another person's toothbrush. So don't use their towel or toilet articles. Live a lonely, sheltered life. Plotting, scheming. And it goes without saying that only clean lingerie should go next to that clean skin. Oh, yes, say that again. <laughs> stuff. While it may not be necessary for all of you, it's fine. some girls use a lubricating cream or lotion to prevent skin roughness or chapping. Expensive creams and powders, however, aren't necessary. Could you get out of my room, A please? healthy skin can be kept attractive with only a few simple preparations. <clears throat> and so... The end of a perfect day. An entire day spent grooming. A few minutes in the morning and evening, and occasional checkups during the day, are all you need to establish and keep up good grooming habits. Thus ends a day in the life of Ivan Denisovich. And you, Jezebel. By following these simple rules of body care and grooming, you too will have that quality of appearance, that feeling of well-being, so important to make your dreams of happiness come true. And remember, when you touch yourself, the saints cry. Good night. Keep watching the medicine cabinets. Keep watching the medicine cabinets. You're next. Oh, let's not forget the 